Hey, what's up? We just launched Serato DJ Pro 3.1. This is a serious update because it allows even more DJs to control Serato stems with your DJ hardware. What I'm particularly excited about is the usage of stems with official Serato accessories, also known as OSAs. This will now include CDJs and other media players, MIDI turntables, and pad controllers. This is so dope not only because now we won't need to spend our time MIDI mapping hardware with these functions anymore, but also it's great to be able to not have to change pad modes on the mixer while you're DJing. Now I can stay in the cue point pad mode on the Rain 72 here while quickly switching the track to acapella or instrumental on the Reloop RP8000 turntables I have. Or I can use loop roll or beat jump on the mixer while isolating the instrumental on the turntable. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the update, but first I wanna remind you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the updates coming from Serato as we regularly share content intended to educate the community and inform you all about what we're up to in the DJ and music production spaces. Having said that, now let's get into what's new with Serato DJ Pro 3.1. It's super easy to set up the use of Serato stems with a bunch of additional hardware pieces. You'll just need to simply use the replace pad mode with stems function inside of Serato DJ Pro in the setup menu under the DJ Preferences tab. This option will appear under the quantized value setting. If you've connected a supported device that already has pad modes, and in addition, you've connected a secondary piece of hardware that's an OSA, you'll now see two options to replace their pad modes with stems in this window. And on the other hand, if you've connected a primary hardware device that doesn't have pads, or doesn't allow you to replace pad modes with stems, you can connect an OSA that has pads, and you'll see only the option to replace pad modes with stems for that accessory. Similar to supported mixers and DJ controllers, the options for which pad modes can be replaced will vary on each Serato accessory. For example, on the Reloop Neon, the options will include Hot Q and Slicer. Whereas on the CDJ3000s, you can simply replace all eight hot cue buttons. Or if you're still rocking the classic DDJ SP1 like I am, your replaceable pad modes will be hot cue, loop roll, sampler, and slicer. Whereas on the DDJ XP2, your options are hot cue, loop roll, and slicer. However you want to freak it, you have some options. So that's about it in a nutshell. Please go to serato.com and download the new DJ Pro 3.1 update and you can immediately open up stems pad mode access on a bunch of newer and older hardware. Now with that said, I'm Mr. Sonny James here in the Serato studio in downtown Los Angeles and I'm tapping out. But I'm gonna tap in my man Destruct so he can show you how to put this new update to work. You know how he does, so don't go anywhere.